Welcome to the Capture 2020 tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to take a look at reports. Reports are managed in the Reports category of the Design tab. Here we can add, delete and clone reports in the project. Let's press the Add button and select the Equipment Report template to create a new equipment report. Next, we can enter a name for the report or just press return to accept the default. Now that we have created a report, we are ready to edit it. I'll press the edit button to open the editor, which has the actual editing features on the right hand side and a preview of the report on the left hand side. This is the equipment report that lists all the fixtures, filters and accessories in the project. So it's pulling in data from a lot of different sources. On the right hand side, we can configure what data we are pulling in for each of the tables in the report. The first table, the fixtures table, is pulling in data from fixtures and includes the following columns. We could use the move up and down options to change the order of the columns in the report. We can use the delete function to remove unwanted columns as well as the add columns function to add any columns not included in the table yet. In addition to this, it's also possible to change the sort order, the grouping and filtering in each individual table of the report. Once we have configured the report to our liking, we can use the export button to export the report to HTML or the print button to print to a printer or using a PDF printer generate a PDF file of the report. There are also a few options available on a global level of the report, such as the name of the report, additional text, and the option to include a page break between the individual tables of the report. Let's take a look at the other report templates available. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I am going to add a fixture locations report as well. I will accept the default name and open the editor. The fixture locations report groups fixtures and other items by the location. Location is a concept in capture that is determined by the unit of trusses or manual information input for individual objects. In this case, you can see that we have six fixtures and one truss on the location LX1. So let's take a look at that in the project. LX1 is the frontmost truss here, hung over the audience, where you can see that we have six fixtures on it. The unit name of the truss is LX1. This is where the location name comes from. And the fixtures that are hung on it are automatically associated with this location. It is possible to override the location information or if the fixture is not near a pipe to manually enter a location. Let's call this location A. Now if we go back to the report and open the editor, a new location A has appeared on the report with the one fixture where we overrode the location information. And on LX1 you can see there are now only five fixtures. Two other useful features when working with reports that I'm going to show you now. The first one is in the library we have something called a report item. You can add any number of report items to the project to include additional information in the report. Use the properties of the report item to enter information about what this is. So assuming for instance that it is some kind of multi-core cable, we can enter that as the name of the item and add an account as well. You can also add information such as rating or weight of the items you've added. And finally, an option in layers. We have a column called include in reports, where you can easily exclude an entire layer of objects from your reports. Thanks for watching. See you soon again.